it is polar opposite. Um, there's some there's some footage. Uh, when I think about it, it, almost brings a tear to my eyes. It's uh, some pretty powerful stuff that happened in the Congo. So uh, that's polar opposite. I can't show it all because it's too. Yeah, it's nasty stuff, you know. But some things have to be shown and told. You just can't imagine that people would do this to other people and kids. People need to see the atrocities uh, that happen around the world. Listening to your story and me really paraphrasing it right now, I mean, I see someone who was in the business world and taking glamour, glamour photographs and then having a life event financially. And now you're ending up in war zones taking photographs of, you know, that sort of stuff. I mean, could it be any more polar opposite? <laughs> it is polar opposite. Um, there's, some, there's some footage, uh, when I think about it, it almost brings a tear to my eyes. It's uh, some pretty powerful stuff that happened in the Congo. So uh, that's polar opposite. That's polar, polar opposite. And uh, some of that footage we will put into the, uh, the documentary. I can't show it all because it's too... Yeah, it's nasty stuff, you know. But some things have to be shown and told. Mm. And that's polar opposite. You just can't imagine that people would do this to other people and kids. You know, it, it just... Yeah, but anyway, it's it, it, we're showing it. We're going to show it and, uh, and we're going to move on because people need to see the atrocities uh, that happen around the world. There's terrible things happening in Ukraine. You know, we've got Russia fighting Ukraine. We've got uh, Israel and Palestine, you know. Mm. Everyone's got a different view about it. Yeah. My views are totally different to what other, other people's are, as you and I have a similar view there. I know we do. But it's irrelevant, isn't it, because the stuff's still happening. It doesn't matter what your view about it is. That person's still hurt or dead. Exactly. There's children dying everywhere. That's the the most hurting thing is to see a child suffering. Mm. There's no need to see that child suffering. It's because of men. It's just their greed, you know, wanting more things, wanting more money, material things. And see, that's... I went through all that stage back in 2000, the late 90s. That hurt. Uh, that was my fault. That was, so, you know, it's probably greed. Greed is the thing. You know, the man toys, looking mm. at all that stuff. We, we we all like those things. But do we really need them? You know, do we really need them? Can we can we do something else? You know, you know, one of the, 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 the best things that I found in life is it's better to give than receive. Now, a lot of people will just say, they'll think I'm a nut when I say that, but I get more of a buzz out of giving something to someone than someone giving it to me. Mm. You know, that's that's why I do what I do because I get a buzz. I, you see a, a kid smile. You know, a kid that can't even speak can't even speak English. You know, and then you come in there and you you do whatever you do, and, and that kid will come out, mm. and just be happy, laugh, and while you're filming them, photographing them, they just, you know, they they've come out of something really bad, but. They, uh, they they roll up a some some dirty old tape and a and some a rag and a wool and they make a soccer ball out of it. They kick it around and they're laughing their heads off. And the smiles exactly. which you capture in the photo, yeah, it is amazing. So you know, I get a, I get a I get a buzz out of that, and uh, yeah, I guess that's what keeps me going. Is a lot of that stuff, seeing those things like that. <laughs> 